Hey, Jaime, how you doing? Huh? What a mess. Yeah, this is uh, awful. It's incredible. Yeah. It looks like the bomb hit right in the center of the hotel. The, the facade seems to be, you know, not in that bad a shape, but when you come back here, you can see the entire building is gutted. And it's a huge building. This is the Chinese embassy, isn't it? I thought it was the Hotel Yugoslavia. Just an accident. What, what is this? Uh, as you can see, it's a civilian target. Right. Hotel Yugoslavia. Uh, where is There is no military target uh, around this object. And uh -huh. Was this bombed in May or June? Some people were injured, this I know, but how many people were killed, I don't know exactly. The main, the main thing is that uh, it's a hotel and civilian target. And the, the, no the main thing? The main thing was? That the uh, Hotel Yugoslavia is civilian target, as usual in the world. And there is no, no any reason to, to, to bomb uh, this building. Was it uh, privately owned or state owned? What is the private capital? Is it uh, this this uh, Hotel Yugoslavia? Was it privately owned? Uh, shareholders, uh, owners, uh, shareholders. Was this hit with cruise missiles or with regular bombs? Three, three, three cruise missiles, yes. Uh, the cruise missiles uh, came uh, along the river Danube because the Danube is uh, oh, beside see. this right, hotel. Right, right, right. And, uh, and it, it was... Uh, Where did, it, did it come from that there or from here or... You don't know? No, I don't know. How many, st how many floors? But it, it, it was at the same time when uh, Chinese Embassy really? was bombed, yes. Your tax dollars at work? It's hard to find words to match seeing it. I've read about th these and I'm well aware and I knew what to expect, but you still can't match actually seeing this as a monstrosity. A crime is too small a word for it. All right, here we are at the Chinese Embassy. Three journalists working at the Chinese Embassy were killed, and here you see a picture of, of them at this uh, uh, memorial. Xiao Yunhuan Zhu Xing Hu and Zhu Ying were the names of the three Chinese killed in the Chinese embassy. In all likelihood, this this site is probably contaminated as well with depleted uranium. Just like the Hotel Yugoslavia, which was hit at the same on the same evening, uh, just a few blocks away. Hotel Yugoslavia was the largest and uh, arguably the best hotel in Yugoslavia, at least in Belgrade. And uh, what is this poster here? Sir? You can see that the uh, the embassy really is a beautiful building, but it's utterly hopeless as far as reconstructing it. It's it's really totally lost. It's a total loss. From what I was uh, told, the embassy was hit directly from the roof, which means that the center of the building must be completely crashed through and all the floors crashed through, and therefore it's st structurally unsound. It must have been an enormous, it must have been built at an enormous financial cost as well. It's, an, uh, it's obviously a new building. It seems like there's outblast on all sides of it. Right. That would make sense. Here's, here's a place where it's 
scenes someone tried to get out from the flames or something. Isn't that interesting? Uh, there's a, a, a drape, a, a drape or sheets were were hung tied down, together. tied down, so that people could climb down and get out of the building. Their way was probably blocked inside. There were a lot of injured people inside the embassy. Only three were killed. Huh? Only three were killed, but quite a few others were injured. Let's take a, a look around the back side of the embassy. Again, we're only a few blocks away from Hotel Yugoslavia, which was hit at the same time. Here we see an adjoining structure that's badly damaged. And a few blocks from that is, is the 20-story unscratched headquarters <laughs> of McDonald's <laughs> with huge golden arcs, uh, arches. Uh, left oh my goodness. Look at this. The whole side of the building was taken out here. The whole back side of the building. This must have been the site of, of one of the, um, or maybe all of the cruise missiles. Perhaps this isn't an, perhaps this is not an adjoining structure, but in fact, the absence of any structure as a result of bombing. Holy shit, we shouldn't be breathing this We shouldn't be breathing this in. Rich, I think I want to get the hell away from here. According to NATO, the reason they bombed this one, quote, by mistake, is because there's another building that looked exactly the same within walking distance, across the street or right next to it. But I, I haven't seen anything that looks like this. Uh, this there's no such building. So there's no mystery. And they're saying, well, on this old map, you know, it showed it, you know. So NATO no, has this is a new building. The old map, the, the last map, the, it's a very this good was point. an empty lot. You know, there's nothing here, but we're like this over here, this field here was just extended. A good point that Greg just made that one of the arguments made for the mistake is that they had an old map. But an old map wouldn't have even shown this building because it's a new building. So that's a lie, we think. And there's no other building resembling that one here, as he just said. So, what makes one wonder? This is the Chinese embassy. The supposed accident by NATO. And he said that they were targeting an adjacent building that looked exactly like it. Well, you can see what this building looks like, or have some idea of what it might have looked like before the bombing. And here across the street, is the only building in the vicinity that might possibly have been uh, th that they might be referring to well the only similarity appears to me is that they both look like they were built in within the past 10 or 15 years other than that the styles are quite different there was major structural damage done to this building if one survey takes a look around and surveys you can see that uh, the columns on the lower floors have actually been severed in some cases which would basically render the building unusable unless some major major renovations were done that would require further demolition of uh, a lot of the existing building structure and uh, so we're talking about a job that would cost several million dollars to repair this building alone. This is what building it is? Energo project. What is it? Energo project. Energo. <laughs> so is that uh, some, it's a private uh, company? Or? Company, yes. Is one company? Mm hmm. And, and what do they manufacture? Do they manufacture or is it a service company? Architecture, I don't know how to say it. Can you help us? What do you want to ask? We're trying to, we're trying to, trying to understand the function of that building, what the building is, uh, is used for, that, that, uh, that NATO claims that, that that was the target, the well, intended target. They didn't target that. What are you they didn't target it, but the NATO claim uh, of why they, they bombed the Chinese embassy was, oh, it looked just like 
Uh, another building that was no, right no. next to it. No, I don't no, no, no. This no. building is there. Not the... What Neto says. There. Oh. That building. Okay. Oh, you can't even see it from here. Is that right? The no, trees no, covering no. it? Da. Behind there. Yeah. Where Be the crane is? Da. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Behind. Can Actually, I ask? Rich, I have to tell you, I don't think it was, that was that was the explanation they All gave. Right. They gave a different explanation. All right. Well, let me ask you something. Where you, where do you live? Do you live close by? Yes. Yes. Do you remember when this was hit? Yes. Can you tell us just a, a little bit about it? What do you remember? What you were doing? What time of day? It we was? were sleeping. Around twelve, mm, midnight. <laughs> mm -hmm. We were sleeping, and suddenly we said we heard three time. Three boom. Three blasts. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. Right together. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. Was it a missile that hit this place? Mm -hmm. A missile or a bomb? Cruise missiles. Cruise missiles? Mm -hmm. You think so? It was a bomb. Bomb? Bomb? Mm. Is it? Tor. Is it? We heard. Mm. Oh, you. Yes. Heard that. Oh, that's good. Point the microphone at them. That sounds a lot better. Okay, give me that again. <laughs> I like that. I did. This is why. This is why. No, no, no. This is why. Ah, I can't even do it. Wait, wait, wait. One on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> and then Hotel Yugoslavia. Yes. Hotel Yugoslavia after. Ah, after. Oh. Mm -hmm. 50 minutes. 50 minutes after. Mm -hmm. And after one hour again. What it was like. Oh, that was, do you think that was an accident? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did your building shake? Yes. Mm -hmm. But no damage? Yes. For n now our side, for, from the other side, uh, windows are broken. Oh, really? Yes. Uranium? You, depleted yes. uranium? Here? Mm hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are afraid a little, but. Why not? Mm -hmm. But what can you do? You can't. That's your door. Yes. You have nowhere to go. Mishko, bitch, the television. Come here, little fella. We got some questions here. Mishko! Right over there is the Hyatt and not a window is broken in the Hyatt. And right there is the Panasonic. And and there and there you have a number of other commercial corporate buildings and none of them have a scratch on them. One can only admire the the uh, ideological selectivity of these cruise missiles and bombs. Now, is there's, there was some question as to what this building is? Yeah, well, we think that the the Socialist Party did have headquarters, had some floors, but there were other uses to the building, including some business uses here. That's true. But you know, regarding the Chinese embassy, embassy, you, you heard that the old maps showed that that the CIA said they relied on. The old maps showed that to be an empty lot, and this is why the Chinese were not convinced. And they also believe the CIA took the fall, uh, took the blame. This was the only building that was targeted by the CIA. The Chinese embassy was. And that raises the question, why would the CIA be targeting that building in particular if it was just a simply, simple old supply dump? And the view is that it took the fall for military intelligence and its reward was to have a special congressional hearing and they got an increase in their budget so they didn't have to rely on old maps anymore. They could go out now and buy a tourist book which would show them where the Chinese embassy actually was, that it, this was the Chinese embassy. 
So, you know, I could have sent them $5 to get the tourist book in, instead of increasing their budget. That's all I have to say. Jeff, uh, if, based on what you know about construction costs and uh, building office buildings in the United States, how much do you estimate uh, a building like this, to, to build a new building like this, to replace a building like this, how much would it cost to replace this building if it were, bu if it were being built in the United States? I think a building like this, uh, with this type of construction and, and this size, would cost at least $100 million to build. What kind? What kind of uh, damages uh, do you see here in this in the structure here? Um, well, a couple of cruise missiles, actually three cruise missiles, uh, passed through. There's one that passed through on the first floor. You can see the you can see the opening uh, in that fourth window. Passed through the whole building. Uh, another one passed through at about the tenth floor, where you can see the the, the char from the flames. Another one passed through near the top of the building, where actually. Uh, Radio uh, and and television uh, um, stations. Uh, I think Radio Kosovo was was based in this building at the top floors. Um, and as a result of the missiles passing through, uh, it took out uh, some a lot of columns. And uh, th as a result of the structural damage, it would probably cost more to try to repair this building than just to tear the whole thing down and start again. How much would it cost to tear down the building? Do you suppose? Just to tear it down? Just to tear it down. Uh, in the United States, to, to tear down a building of this size would probably, would, would in itself cost um, probably somewhere from one to three million. Just to tear one it down and, and cart off all the material. Wow. Thank you. Take a, take, a good, take a good look at, at the places where the cruise missiles entered and you'll get a, you'll get a sense of, of the power of the, of the weapon and what it, what it can do. I mean, that is just sheer criminality. Sheer crim that is barbarism. To send that, to, even to create that kind of a weapon, to send it into a, into a civilian structure like this, it's terror bombing. It is terrorism. It's the worst kind of terrorism. Yeah. This is not. This is not even the terrorism of the oppressed. This is the terrorism of the oppressor. Good thing about nothing around. Yeah. But but yeah. Do you see that? If you had like a building where that went in.